3D Boxing here with John Blaze, John Tapia. How How's you it going guys? today, champ? Doing good. We're doing good. Getting ready for our fight, May 22nd. Uh, excited to get, excited to be here. We're here in uh, Brownsville, Texas. Uh, the Rio Grande Valley 956. Yes, sir. A lot of good fighters come out of here. All, all of a sudden, there's you. Uh, Omar Juarez is in Brownsville. The Figueroa's is just down the road in Westlaco. Um, a lot of good fighters come out of the valley. What's going on all of a sudden that it's, it's putting out all these top-notch fighters? The, the valley is a hidden treasure, I man. Barely getting discovered. And uh, there's a lot of talent down here. Um, I'm honored and I'm blessed to be part of that movement, you know, of, 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 of fighters that are being uh, discovered. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of talent coming out of here, and there's a lot of future talent coming uh, to into the sport in the future years that are uh, in boxing. So tell us about what you're going on. You have a pretty big fight, um, Taylor Ramirez uh, undercard. Yes. Las Vegas. Yes. Um, it, it's going to be on May 22nd. Main, you, you mentioned the main card is going to uh, main event is going to be uh, Taylor Ramirez, which is going to be a really uh, exciting fight to watch as well. So after my fight, I'm, I'm looking forward to watching that fight as well. Uh, but yeah, we got a, our opponent's gonna be Robesi Ramirez. He uh, is a two-time gold medalist. Um, I believe it was a Beijing 2012 and Rio in 2016 that he uh, that he won the gold medals. Uh, we took this fight because I mean, if you guys follow follow me, my team, we don't take easy fights. We we, we try to we we try to go for the tough ones. We try to prove our name out there, um, and you know we're 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 gonna we're gonna take it to him. Now I was talking to your trainer about that earlier and he said there's no easy fights and you go through your resume you've been matched tough since early on yes sir um now this is the third olympian that you're yes. fighting in re in recent years yes um the nikonen fight which was at madison square garden i was ringside for that i thought you won were you disappointed with the decision do you think you did enough to win or what were your feelings about that decision i, I was disappointed but it was like one of those uh, rude awakenings to the reality of boxing, the way boxing is. It's a lot of, you know, bad calls. Uh, I feel that in, um, I did it. I did enough to, to win. Um, but I mean, it is what it is. It was, it was a fight, and uh, it was one of my, It was actually one of my favorite fights of my career. Uh, the that he was Russian, right? I believe nicotine. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, it was it was a great fight with me. The real nice guy as well, right? After the fight, we had a a, little, a nice little chit chat, you know. But uh, I really thought I, I had won that fight. So did my corner that that, that night, and uh, I, it, it, it hasn't stopped since 20. I, the fight was in 2019. Every so often, I, I hear the same thing from 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 friends, from family, friends, from fans. Uh, hey, you won that fight. Hey, you won. Hey, Johnny, I had you winning that fight. Did you guys in the corner tell him he was up in that fight, or tell him it was close, or what, what was? Uh, in the Nick in the Nick fight, were you guys telling him he was up in that fight? Tell him in the corner. Well, no, we we weren't telling him. He was we were you know of course encouraging him that, that you know to keep going forward, to keep uh, you know to stay, uh, stick with the game plan that we had, and you know just make you know. But we didn't want to over put him over. Yeah, I mean we knew the fight was close, yeah. but uh, we 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 were edging it, and in my mind I was edging the fight, um, the rounds. And um, I mean, even as you can tell, my last on uh, the last round, I kind of waved my hand up as yeah. you know, just to signify that I had, that I was here, that I was there. I, I I came, I saw, I conquered on on his turf, so to speak, because he was uh, the the sign uh, fighter. But hey, boxing yeah, is I boxing. Think, I think all of them in the corner, deep in our hearts, were yeah, we want, we want, but uh, but then again, we're top rank. we Politics as usual. The decision. But if, if you, like you mentioned, we fought three Olympians already. Shakur Stevens, he's a world champion right now. Um, he's one of the, in my opinion, he's the future pound pound fighter. I know, of course, like, coach is laughing because <laughs> we, we have this conversation all the time. But uh, I, I mean, it, it was it was great fighting him. We took him to the distance, uh, and uh, we we learned a lot that night, as well as uh, when we fought the bronze medals with nicotine, right? So we fought the silver medalists, we fought the bronze medalists, and right now with the gold medalists, I mean. We've learned a little bit on those two fights that, I mean, I, it's, they prepare me for this. I think everything happens for a reason. Yeah, the experience. Everything happens for a reason. I do believe I'm a strong believer in that. And it prepared me for this fight. I wanted to ask you about that, right? Because you, know, you went into the Shakur Stevenson fight and the Nikonen fight, and you were supposed to lose, right? Like yes. they were expecting. Yes. And now you're still going to be a betting underdog, I would imagine. But a lot of people know your name, and a lot of people are like, Ramirez isn't unbeatable. Tapia... Tabby might win this fight. Is it a different mindset going in when people are not, when people are thinking that you could win this fight? Like, yeah, definitely. Uh, you gotta understand, we have a we had 15 fights as an am as amateurs 
when you fought Shakur, we, I mean, till the day, I still consider, uh, we still consider ourselves students of the game. You know, we're just, we're learning. We're we're 20 years old. We're we're 10 and three, but we're a young pro and mindset wise. You know, um, we're learning as we're going. And and uh, if anything, the Shakur fight it was the first time that we were on on major. You know, it was a big show. It was a big card. So, I mean, just hearing Michael Buffer call out my name, it was. Man, whoa! I mean, I was state, I was a uh, celebrity shock. I don't know what. what yeah, was star shock. Yeah, 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 star, star yeah, shock. Yeah, you know, we saw a lot of uh, big names out there. So, uh, on top of the, on, on top of that, there was a camera when they were announcing my name. I always thought that it was a camera far away. You know, zoomed in. No, the guy was right here. So, <laughs> you know, I was kind of getting nervous. Uh, the nicotine fight, same thing. I mean, I felt a little more calm, and, and you saw the performance. I mean, I performed a lot better, and uh, actually. It wasn't Olympic anymore, and an Olympic, but this last fight in December back at the Cowboy Stadium. I want to get into that. I, next. I was so com- confident, I was so comfortable. I mean, in the locker room, we were just chilling, kicking back. I mean, that was that was the first time uh, that we felt <laughs> comfortable. I felt at ease. He felt at ease. Both. I I just Both feel as, as these big uh, as we still um, continue fighting in these good shows and these big shows, I feel we're getting the experience, not just. You know, mentally, but overall, you know, it's just getting. I'm beginning to feel more. Hey, I belong here. I wanted to ask you about that fight. Right, that was a no doubt. You won probably every round of that fight. Uh, you did that against Errol Spence's guy yeah. in Dallas. Yeah. On the biggest card of the year, probably right. Mm-hmm. What was that like to, to put that kind of performance out and beat the hometown guy? Yeah. In his hometown. Of course. Uh, well, going back to the nicotine fight, if that's if, that, if something taught me in that fight is that I gotta go after it. I mean, I'm fighting. Mm-hmm. The sign, the sign person. I'm fighting. I'm sorry to say these judges, but I'm fighting you guys as well. And on top of that, sometimes, you know, we're, we're fighting the ref sometimes, you know, because they're trying to protect their dude. That's the, that's the sad reality of boxing, and I'm willing to speak about it more if I have to. But I'm just like that. But if anything, that fight taught me that hey, I gotta chase. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta be the aggressor. I gotta be two, three steps ahead of the guy. And if you see that fight, I mean, I was just on top of him since. The opening bell. But the yeah. difference between that one and this one, he do more combinations with yeah. this with this guy. Yeah. Even so, the commentator said it that this guy's fighting totally different yeah. than way he fought the last fight yeah. to, to this one. Yeah. He worked yeah. with more combinations than anything else. The pressure in and out angles. Yeah. That's oh. what the difference between yeah. this one. I want to ask you about that. We've seen you fight more aggressively. We've seen you fight off the back foot. We've seen yes, you sir. fight coming in and, and going out. How would you describe your style? Because you're a versatile fighter. How would you describe your style in the ring? Um, without sounding too, I mean, like if I'm copying Floyd Mayweather, uh, what he's saying, but I feel like I can adapt. You know, I, I in any kind of fight, if you see me fight Shakur, I fought differently. I fought Vladimir, I fought differently. I fought Fernando uh, Wilson yeah, Garcia, seen. I fought very differently. It just depends on the, the opponent we're fighting. Now, uh, yes, we. I'm not going to say we don't watch no footage because that's a lie. You know, no, we, we saw them, we studied them at the beginning. We know what we're going up against. I know what to expect. I've been preparing myself with nothing but uh, top-notch uh, southpaws. And I kind of have an idea of what style of fight, uh, fighter I'm going to be here. But going back to your question, yes, I, I feel like I can adapt. I'm a, I, I, I can adapt to any anything that, that's put in front of me. You got a guy with, uh, what is he, what is he, six pro fights now, Ramirez, yeah. but a really, really extensive um, amateur career, two gold medals, and he's a southpaw. Any wrinkles in that? Anything you have to adjust fighting a southpaw this time? The difference between him and Shakur, Shakur had the reach and the height advantage. I don't see, I see, I, I did, Rebasi is 5'5", five, five, my height. Yeah. You know, it's like I'm looking in the mirror. Um, a lot of people fear the southpaws, and I, 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 I don't have to. Being coached, you know, by Coach Campos, who, by the way, he had uh, a, a very, uh, um, you know, uh, great southpaw in Sergio Perales, I don't you know if you guys remember him. Um, so this, he knows the secrets to beating, not only training southpaws, but beating them. So I feel very confident right now going up against, I mean, those two gold medals, a, you know, awesome job, but that's amateurs, you know, this is pro, I'm there to go. Sorry to say this, I'm there to go, you know. I'm there, I'm there, to, I'm there to, you know, take it yeah. to him, you know. I want to ask you, um, in the main event of your fight, Josh Taylor and Ramirez, I got to ask you, who do you got? I got Ramirez, man. I got Ramirez. Uh, I think he's he's strong, he's fast, and he's very versatile, man. He's gonna he's gonna take it to Taylor, man. He's gonna, he's gonna beat him. Next week we have the return of a of, a, of an RGV legend, uh, um, Omar Figueroa. Yes. He's fighting Abel Ramos. Yes. Um, I'm glad that he's make, making a return to the ring. I, I the Figueroa's, especially him, uh, in, in uh, particularly, he's the one that pretty much 
opened up the doors for you know the RGB uh, in the mainstream. You know, speaking you know speaking uh, mainstream wise. So I'm really glad that he's returning. Uh, also, his brother uh, Brandon's fighting a week Louis before Neary. my fight. Uh, yeah. yeah, he's fighting Neri, so that's a really tough fight. It's gonna be a really good fight, and uh, I mean, I'm just really glad that that, that they're that, that they're up there again. So the last the last fight I wanted to ask you, about, I had a difference of opinion with uh, your coach, Mario Barrios and Tank Davis. Who do you got, Matt? Man, my <laughs> you know my my heart wants uh, you know my heart wants you know Barrios you know to 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 win. You know, but I, I, I man, if I, I don't know, uh, I, <laughs> I, I, I think Tanks is, is gonna is gonna take it because of his, you know, he's, he's strong. But I, you know, Mario Barrios is a warrior, and and um, I know he's he's preparing himself 110 percent right now. So hopefully he he gets the win. You know, keep it in Texas. John Blaze Tapia, tell everyone where they can find you on social media. Yes, uh, Johnny Blaze Tapia 93 on my Instagram, Facebook. I'm under Juan Tapia, my birth name, Juan Tapia, you know. Uh, and uh, my Snapchat guys, Jay Blaze Tapia, guys. I can I answer any word. Just message me, guys. Hit me up. I'm always down to meet new people. God bless, champ. Thank you. God bless.